very first DVD review episode of the Art Foods Complete Collection. The previous version of this collection with a different case because it had to reissue it even though it's the exact same. The biggest animated franchise of all time. I don't know if they actually made that if it's supposed to be super awful fun. Now, all these movies are rated PG for literally no reason. They should just be rated G. There's not really any adult content or anything besides the second one. They really swear for no reason. <laughs> The first one's good, the second one's bad, the third one's good, the fourth one is, uh, uh, okay. I mean, if I had to choose one, it probably was the third one, so that's what I said, that one's the best. The fifth one is so trashy, so, uh, yeah. You just give it if you want, but you probably don't want it. Alright, here's the first two. For some reason, the discs look so trashy for no reason. Like, they were all dark in the mess. Maybe they're holding it in some sort of factory. They were in the dark so long, they ended up becoming like this permanently. And that's how it happened. So anyway, what do you want with the movie? Let's go over the DVD and stuff. So the first one, so bad. Originally with the movie was 2002. Later that year, there was a DVD release, which is weird. I didn't know that movies had DVD releases like a couple months after they were released. The only other case I've heard of that is when Disney started releasing some of the 90s movies on VHS after The Little Mermaid. They were so successful, but um, yeah, I don't really think this is a box office hit smash with audiences, uh, critics, or anything. But I guess they just want to release it for the December Thanksgiving holiday. But it's a two disc special edition that include a commentary and deleted scenes. But this two also includes her, some documentaries and also a bunch of other behind the scenes, plus teaser trailers and a scrap short. And yeah, in 2005. I guess after the announcement of the latest film, Robots, also the IC sequel, they decided to re-release it. And yeah, the original's called the Super Cool, just get it. I'm so shy. And they decided to re-release it, and that's the version that's put in here. A one disc scrap crap edition. They just redid the disc for no reason. To include more trailers, but they still include the full, the horrible, cheap looking and horrible quality looking full screen version for some reason. And uh, yeah, it just includes the commentary. No deleted scene, scrap, nutty movie mode, what would they call it that? And uh, yeah, there's none of that. I don't really know why. I, don't really, I think if they got rid of the full screen version, they could have been able to fit it up there. But then again, they fit all of that on the original DVD. I don't really know if the trailers would take up that much space, especially since it's not even anymore. Anyway, the second one, the least and most worst one, what the what the what, has the best DVD. It has two commentaries plus a bunch of random animated shorts. It's disguised as outtakes or stunts or bloopers or whatever. Then a bunch of featurettes and trailers plus these student films, which they just trick you. Just random crappy film grain effect over footage in the movie. They're pretending that they're a student film. Some random Fox Sid promos, including Fear on the Guy, where it says sex. So that makes DVD a million times better. Anyway, I see Dino Dinosaurs, which is the best one in my opinion. It has literally the worst DVD of all time. There's a two disc scratch special edition, but it's extremely rare. And the second disc has a bunch of scratch shorts and featurettes and bonus material and stuff. But yeah, disc one just has just the commentary. The commentary is pretty good when I've listened to it from or uh, whatever. There's also the Easter special, which takes place after the fourth movie. But it has a random, well, it has a random feature about Scott Teddy, even though she's not even in the special. I have no idea why they included that. But there's also a Buck feature that they couldn't have at least included that, especially since the movie is only 90 minutes long. Speaking of movie, the quality is so bad. Some parts there's just grain everywhere, just all fuzzy and horrible. I don't really think it would have been the hard story, 90 minute movie plus the commentary. Maybe they got rid of them having like a million trailers for no reason. This was like a random crappy film projector print instead of going to a digital source, like Disney does. Well, specifically, that's all. I just got another job. Let me just say how shady the disc looks. Just the actual design. Anyway, this disc is so shady. It's better, even though the fourth nor fifth would have any commentaries. The fourth one has some horrible music videos. Isn't that shady? I mean, shady, shady music selection and second thing. But there's two features about the character design of the movie, so that's good. Plus, like a million trailers. But it doesn't include the two part scrap content of Crack Up, theatrical short thing that ran from other Fox movies. They're basically just some scrap scenes from the movie, but the slightly alternate version still wouldn't last be included in those. Anyway, the fifth and shittiest, well, because the second was the shittiest one, but the second shittiest one has a nice swarm of bonus features, including a million trailers like they usually do with these new 20th Fox DVDs. 
plus some featurettes and uh, other stuff. So yeah, those include this 15 minute long subscribe bonus short. We just some extended version of scrap scenes in the movie, so that's good. Some scrap is the best part of the movie. And then you're gonna check it out. It's probably over. Okay.